So, you want to create your very own alternate reality game, or ARG. It's not easy to make a good ARG. However, I can show you how you can make your own. So without further ado, let's get right into it. An ARG, or an alternate reality game, is essentially your own passion project. Nobody's gonna see it unless it's good. So, you have to make it good. But how do you make it good? Well, first you have to come up with a premise. That premise is going to be exactly like a million other people's, so immediately scrap it and start over. You're going to want to think of something that literally nobody else would ever think to do. You can make it something as simple as a child's show. You can make it an old news station. But if you want it to be good, you have to make it something that's not normal. You can make it normal and hope for the best, but if you're going to make it normal, you have to make it better than anybody else. And honestly, if you're going against professional video effects people, I don't think you have much of a chance. This is where we see my first flaw. I went for a basic ass premise of, oh my god, I'm running around the neighborhood. What am I doing? Oh wow, look, there's a stick in the ground. You're going to have to do something much better than that if you want yours to take off. Mine only got the amount of views that it did because I already had a pre-installed fan base of 125 subscribers, and even then, only 40 of them actually watched it. If you want yours to do good, you're going to have to come up with something creative. So that brings me to my first point, be creative. Don't do just the things you were taught. Experiment. Do whatever you want. However, if you do want to do the things you were just taught, that is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to teach you the methods that I have used to hide and create information in my videos. So let's get into it right now. If you're going to be creating an ARG, there are two main fields of study you have to pay attention to, cryptography and steganography. Cryptography is the hiding of information, but everybody knows the information is there. Steganography is the hiding of the fact that there's information there to begin with. But if somebody were to get into it, they can essentially, you know, look at it right away and it's not hidden at all. So what you're going to want to do is combine these two. The most common form of cryptography is taking a message in text and running it through a cipher of some sort. The most common are binary, hex, and rotational ciphers. However, there are other types of ciphers, such as Caesar. What's important is that you don't forget the cipher. You need to know which cipher you use so that in the future you can go back and use it. You also need to make sure it's not an incredibly obscure cipher so that people can actually figure it out if you want people to actually care about your ARG. But as far as ciphers go, pretty much everything is fair game. Ciphers are cool and all, but they're kind of easy to figure out. So, what you're going to do is you're going to use forms of steganography. This is by far the most fun part of creating an ARG, is coming up with the codes and stuff and putting all the pieces together for yourself so that other people can put it together for themselves. But to do that, you're going to have to hide some stuff. You're going to have to hide the fact that there's some information. So you can use this thing called a spectrogram to give a small message in it. It's short, and you can usually hide it pretty well in a video that's full of rustling and stuff by just lowering the volume enough. I won't get into too many more techniques, mostly just because there's so many to go through, and even me giving you a few won't help you. However, if you want, you can go through some of Scare Theater and Nexpo's videos, and you should be able to find some about ARGs and find some stuff which will help you. Now, something that's very important is the videography. What you're going to want to do is basically go outside, go to your front lawn actually, just go film yourself walking for some reason. For some reason, people always love seeing people just going on a fucking walk. I don't know. Walking is very ominous and it can be like, oh, what's he walking to? It can create a lot of intrigue really fast. At one point, you're going to randomly want to start running. Why? I have no clue. It doesn't portray any more information than walking, other than I guess this is a little bit more intense. Although, for all the viewers know, you could just be going for your morning jog. After that, when you get back to your house, you're going to take your camera, preferably an iPhone camera or a very low quality camera, like just make it as low quality as you can so that people can't see much. When you're running, you're going to randomly want to turn around. However, when you turn around, the film grain effect is going to get so strong that nobody can make out what the fuck you're looking at. <laughs> Add just an absolute shit ton of filters to your video. It doesn't matter what they are, it doesn't matter if they portray any amount of information. Just add a shit ton of filters. Noise filters, yup. VHS filters, sure thing. Anything to make it look even the slightest bit more spooky or incomprehensible. 
Remember those ciphers we were talking about earlier? We'll take some of those, put them, put them on a black background, and go ahead, splice them in through the throughout the video. Make sure you do a lot of random cuts to things that just don't matter at all, like I did at the very end. However, I was actually portraying a little bit of information, and if you go back, you can actually make out a good idea of what I want you to do. So, now I have a challenge for you. Find it. This video has a secret. Find that secret and you'll be golden.